Sure, oh, she'll God. What? The what are they doing here? Like what is Nathan doing fly. here? Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. All right. Oh, that's Kate. She's not coming to class, I guess. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now, this is so wrong and weird. Something is up. Like, something about the story. It's really, com like, confusing me and trying to make this, like, trying to not make any sense. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. What's up? I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody I'm else, please sit down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student, or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, no smartphones in class, Max. But I know that, that happened. <laughs> okay. People need good. something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are... Who are we drawing here? There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max oh. Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. The Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, what? everybody remain seated. Dismissed. <sighs> We're heading to the girl's dumb. Is this for real? It flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. I think I know what's going on. Who is that up here? Yeah. Fuck. No! Oh, oh fucking hell! Oh, Shit! God. Oh my god, I'm having goosebumps. No shit. No, 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 no. Not now. No! What the fuck? I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Shit. What can I do here? What can I do here, guys? Oh, fuck. I'm going to die. Time is paused? Let's go. Keep going, Max. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Fuck. This is crazy. Oh my god, this is crazy. Come on, Max. Oh, that's David. He's... David? Is this part of your fault as well? Shit. We have to we have to go up there. This is nuts. Kate. Oh, you're better than this, Kate. Come yes. on. Yes. Kate. 
on, come on, come on. Oh. What are you doing here, Mac? I'm Stop. here to help. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Things will get better. Oh, things will get better, you matter, not just to me. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Yeah. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, Then why are you doing this? Me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I told you to wait for a little bit more. I'm scared. Oh, God. I'm gathering hey, proof. I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. It takes time. You have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Do Soon. We? Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all yeah, need come, to have come each back other's down. backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. Come on. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. There are billions of videos. People will forget, yeah. That is true. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. Unless I jump. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. We just said we did. Your, your mom, your mom. I don't know if they cared. I didn't really read the letters from her father. Her aunt definitely didn't care. Your sisters? I saw that cute. You have photo photos with them? With your sisters in your room yeah. this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. Yeah, she think does about have her. the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. That, no, you put yourself on this roof. Um, suicide is a sin. I wouldn't want to say that. She's going to feel more sinful. Proverbs 21.15. That is the one that she scribbled out. Maybe if we use that against her. How does that Wrath Proverbs will be brought upon evildoers. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. No! 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 Fuck! What the fuck? I can't rewind. Oh. 
Oh my I know God. this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Now you want to fucking listen? When I'm, when I'm just trying to tell you what's going on in here? I'm, I'm gonna go straight for Nathan. I think him and his family is the... Is, is the, 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 the source of the uh, All I know here. is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, off, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. But I think I can use my power again. What? I'm not accusing Nathan Prescott of what he did. No, I'm not going to rewind shit. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. You had the power. You just decided to ignore it. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. 
That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with yeah. Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? Are we going to tell him about Paris now? What the hell is this? The weather Eclipse. confirms this weird day. No way. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. What the hell is going on? First the snow? What? I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Well, there we have it, guys. This is episode two out of time. That's Mr. Jefferson and the uh, principal. Yeah, I bet she feel bad now. How? Uh, why is he just showing up in this in the girls' dormitory? I thought we could help her in a way, uh, I never thought she'd really jump. Is, is there any way to save her at all? I don't, I don't think so. Rachel, that's still a big name in this, this game. Now there's Kate. There's something really weird. What are all these folders for? For the missing girls? Like... Okay guys, so that's episode 2 out of time. I wonder what is going to happen in the next one and uh, this one has been a really a really shocking ending uh, with the uh, sensitive matter of suicide and stuff but um, I want to see how they are uh, going to start the next episode this is as far as I watched in terms of video on YouTube and um, I really thought we could have saved Kate but in the end I, I, I didn't manage to uh, if you did let me know how you did and you know what you told her and stuff. So, uh, let's go through our decisions here. Episode 2 out of time. You told Kate to wait for more proof. Okay. Um, many people did that and she's not happy about it. Um, but in the end, we did tell her that, you know, we're going to find proof. But she still jumped after all. You answer Kate's call, 81%. I, I guess we all know our priorities here. Who's, uh, who's in more need of their friends. You didn't try to shoot Frank. 48%. Many were trying to shoot Frank and failed. I decided not to. Uh, you couldn't save Kate. You saved Kate's life. 
So you can't save her life. So I, I, I did screw up. How did I screw up? That is a major, major difference there. Like a character's life in a game, in a linear game. That, a, a difference in the character, uh, being there or not, is a big difference in the game. I wonder how that's gonna change the game, you know, down the line. And I, I am just going to have to play through one without Kate. So, um, I don't know. I might come back and see if I can save her life and see how the story goes on from there. You blame Nathan, 74%. I think many people hate the Prescott, especially Nathan. Um, no one blamed David as much as they blame Mr. Jefferson. Why? For scolding her or something? Having a, an argument? Those are my decisions, guys. Let me know if you have other things. Uh, that you did during the game, or if there are other things that I've missed in this game. But um, I guess this is it for episode 2, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Next time on Life is Strange. That was a quick one.